Welcome back to Santa Barbara. David and Carol Joy. And boy, do we have an incredible subject for you today. Yes. We're going to be talking about longevity and living a long and satisfied life. And the Bible has so much to say about this subject. You know, I've been looking at this subject for over 20 years now. It's been kind of like a little a little like just a little thing I want to look at every time I see it because mm -hmm. I really want to live long and I want to live the fullest life I can for God. Mm -hmm. Recently I came across this statement in this headline of this article it said lifespan is 120 years old really the new normal living over 120 or living to 120. Now this is going to tweak a lot of our thinking, but there are so many people on the earth. We're going to give you statistics today. We're going to give you lots of word of God today. We're going to give you examples. And later we're going to show you some people's lives and what it takes to live long. So we're really, I'm really excited about that. And it all comes back to living long and strong on the earth for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Psalm 91 is our basic scripture. A lot of people know the scripture. It says this, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Satisfy us. We are to live until we are satisfied. That word in the Hebrew for satisfied is happy. Good. That's pretty easy. <laughs> it's important to be happy. And I can hear people right now thinking, what in the world is this guy talking about? Living long on this earth isn't something old, isn't something new, it's something for today. I'm going to say it again. It's not something old, it's not something new, it's something for today. It's been around for a long time. Yes. Well, and, and God said, <clears throat> yeah, with yeah. long life, He yeah. wants to satisfy us. Yeah, and we're not going to look at just one promise of the Bible. We're looking yeah. at that and we're looking at statistics. From the United Nations in just a second here. Mm. So having a long, very satisfied life is godly. I'm going to say it again. Uh, having a long and satisfied life is godly. Yeah. You can hear the fog horns going off. There's fog. It's a little warm out today. Yeah. But there's a significant attention in the last 20 years about the remarkable growth of people living over a hundred years mm. on this earth. Right now, this year, in the United States, there's over 93,000 people right here in the United States living over the age of 100. Oh, wow. There was only 2,000 in 1950. 2,000 in 1950, now there's 93,000. In January this year, the United Nations said there are more than 573,000 centenarians, what they're called, people live over 100, centenarians on the planet. 573, I'm going to put a little a graph up there, and you're going to see the dramatic growth that's happening. In 1950, there were 33,000 people in the world wow. over the age of 100. 33,000 in 1950. Now there's 573,000 thousand people on this earth breathing right now walking the same earth you are it's projected in 2050 there'll be over 3.5 million people on this earth 3.5 million people on this earth over the age of 100. How are These they doing are it? the statistics. We're going to be learning a little bit about that. Yeah, wait, so, you got to hear. And it's interesting too, a lot of people, and Philip's watching from France, mm -hmm. he's got 10 people. Philip, you got 10 people down the street from you living over 110 years old. Actually, they're 112 years old in wow. your country in France right now. 10 people over 112 years old just down the street from you. I want to know how. I know, really. <laughs> um, there's statistics that say that? now, and we hear people in the health industry saying 40 is the new 30. 40 years old, 40 is the new 30, 70 is the new 50. I agree. And 100 is the new 80. I like which that. Which now appears that 110, 110 could be the new 100. Wow. And it's interesting too, I have to take this footnote that uh, there were 30 people over the age of 110, 30 people over the age of 110 did a study on them, and 25% of them had cancer in their lives and they beat it. That's so these awesome. are people that were, some might have been poor in health, some were, but they lived this long. We're gonna look at some of this. I love the book, uh, Longevity Industry 1.0. It's by two authors, Dmitry Kaminsky and Margarita Klunte, and they said this, Life expectancy today is longer than we assume. On average, middle-aged people today can expect to live 120 years. 
the elderly can expect to live to 100 and the younger people can expect to live beyond 120. Well, we're going to look at that today. <laughs> we're going to look at that today. All right. And so, wow. and looking at this, a lot of people, especially when I came to be a Christian, said you 70 or 80 years is what the Bible says. Now, we're yeah. going to look at that scripture right now. Right. Because it's taken totally out of context and we're going to look at something. This is going to tweak our thinking. This is going to really <laughs> tweak our thinking yes. because it comes from Psalm 90. Let me give you a little background about Psalm 90. Mm -hmm. Psalm 90 is called the Psalm of Moses. This is when the Israelites were complaining mm -hmm. and murmuring. And you can look yeah. at that in Numbers chapter 14. I have they it here. They were good we get at that. It. Yeah. In, in Numbers <laughs> chapter 14, it, yeah. it, they go sad side by side. Psalm 90 and Numbers chapter 14 go side by side. Numbers 14, okay. 10 times they said this, disobeyed God, and they said this, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it in, we're not gonna make it in, we're not gonna make it in, we're not gonna make it in. <laughs> We've been talking about look how at that in important your words are. Psalm 90:10. this is what yes. people quote. And it's important to know this is the Psalm of Moses and it's a different time. The days of our years are three score years and 10 or 70. And by reason of strength, they shall be four score years, 80. Yet their strength, labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Now, this scripture right here, again, I, I can't say it enough. It is talking about Numbers chapter 14. And I think I'll just okay. skip ahead of that. Numbers chapter 14, we see that the children of Israel tempted the Lord 10 times by not believing them. Ouch. <laughs> and he said, we're all gonna die out here. And they kept saying, every time they turned around, we're all gonna die out here. And we when need he, to learn something from and this. And when he told them to go up and take the land, they didn't. Mm. They sat in their tents and cried in unbelief. Wow. Wow. There's all kinds of people and things happen here. Um, they sat in their tents and cried in unbelief. Here in Numbers 14, 28 and 29, it says, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, and as you have spoken in my ears, we're not going to make it, we're not going to make it, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness. All that were numbered of you, according to your whole number from 20 years old and upwards, which have murmured against me, he told them, here it comes, all of you from 20 years old and older are going to die out here in this wilderness like you said you were. Wow. Like you said you were, he's Gotta saying watch here. Your words. So we really have to watch our words yeah. and what we're saying. Yeah. And let's look at it again. Psalm 90. I'm going to take it from the Amplified and you're going to see what I'm talking about here. I just want to build a foundation this here because we're because we're going to move on and the next one's going to like, "Woo, you're going to be like, what? Where in the world did that come?" That's what they thought back then too. But listen yeah. to this. Psalm 94 through 10 says this, "For all of our days out here in the wilderness," says Moses, "pass away in your wrath." We spend our years as a tale that is told. We, for we adults know we have doomed to die soon without reaching Canaan. Well, they said they're gonna die out here. They're gonna die out here. The days of our years are three score years and 10 years, or even by the reason of strength, four score or 80 years. Yet it's with their pride in additional years, only labor and sorrow foot soon gone and we fly away. Now he's talking here, your, your years are gonna be 70 to 80 years, boom. That has nothing to do with us because before Moses was even born, God gave us the scripture with which we to live by. Mm. And it says this right here in Genesis. Genesis 5 talks about Adam. Adam lived over 900 years in Genesis 5, okay? In Genesis 6 at the end and 7 talks about Noah living over 500 years. Wow. So you have, you have Genesis 5, 900 years Adam, right? And then you have Genesis 6 and over and you have Noah. He's living over 500 years, but right smack in the dab in the middle of it, God tells us something here. Right here it says this in verse 3 of Genesis 6. The Lord said, my breath will not remain in humans forever because they are flesh. They will live 120 years. Other translations on this earth. Wow. The message says, then God said, I'm not going to breathe life into men and women endlessly. Eventually they're going to die. From now on, they can expect a lifestyle, a lifespan, excuse me, of 120 years. Wow. So, this scripture would you like to live right that here so <laughs> i can hear adam and noah and everybody this is right in the middle so yeah. they're living 900 years they're living 
500, 600 years, and right in the middle, God goes, by the way, guys, well, you know, lifespan is only gonna be 120. And it took 100 years for Noah, after this is said, for him to build the ark. So it's pretty amazing what God is saying here. Yeah. And I just wanna establish a fact and you research this out for yourself. We're gonna be talking about lots of people that live over 100 years old, and man, they're teaching aerobics. One woman, she sold crayons and colored pencils to Vincent Van Gogh. That's so cool. Vincent Van Gogh. She saw the Eiffel Tower built. There's so many people today yeah. living over the age of 100. Well, we got And if you watching. do, if you yeah. live over 100, uh, wow, you get to see a lot yeah. of things. And so I want you to think really cool. different about your life. Yeah. I want you to think long and strong for God because How if long you're do not you want to live. Yeah, exactly, because <laughs> if you're not satisfied, and I know I want to do everything that God has for me on this earth. Yeah. So I think we'll read a couple more scriptures here. This is um, good. And let's wrap it up with a few scriptures here. Exodus 23, 25 says, If you worship the Lord your God, the Lord will bless your bread and your water. I will take sickness away from you, and no woman will miscarry or be infertile in your land. I'll let you live a full, long life. Wow. So a full, long life. Full. Full. Full is That's the key. That's the key. Full yeah. is the key. I mean, some people tell me uh, in the past, this was like 20 years ago, you've done a lot, David, in your life. I, I still want to learn the piano. I still want to move and do different things. I still have so much in my heart that I want to learn how to fly an airplane. There's so many things I want to do. And yeah. we're going to see some pretty crazy things coming up. Uh, f Psalm uh, 41, 2 and 3 says this. And I can, I can hear some of you thinking right now, well, I don't believe this. That's because of what you've been taught. I'll say it again. That's because what you've been taught. We have to like what Larry Keaton said when we were in Poland, you know, about the students that had communism so deep in their brains. They can only think one way. No, we can only go three blocks from our house because that's what the law says. No, 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 the law is gone. Communism has gone. But still they had that thinking yeah. in their head. They had to change. It takes time. And it took time. But I'll tell you what, boy, month after month, they got freer and freer. And we will yeah. too. This is a subject we need to constantly be living because we want to live full lives. And to live a full, satisfied life, mm -hmm. and God promises long life, that means He's promised us health and everything included in that long life. Sure. Finances, don't figure it out. Just go with God. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Psalm 41, 2 and 3. God looks after us all, makes us robust with life. Another translation says, the Lord protects them and keeps them alive. Psalm 1 is one of my favorite ones. I love this scripture. I say it over myself. We, or you, you could say, will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss or water, bearing fruit in every season of your life. He is never dry. We are never dry. We're never fainting, ever blessed, and ever prosperous. Hallelujah. So I think we, we need to well, pick up here next week. Well, make you think. Yeah. Is there any comments yeah. you have about it? Because this is a... It, it, and I I've been studying up for a year. David's, it's been on David's heart for a long yeah, time. And when yeah. he first started talking about it, I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if I want to live a long life, but the more you think about it and yeah. the more that you know that yeah. it's God's will. And the key is yeah. to get in the scriptures and be healthy. Yeah. God wants us whole. Yeah. As long as you're whole and yeah. healthy and there's no reason why you can't live longer. Yeah. So, yeah, the key is just being healthy and happy and casting all your cares. Mm. I know you're going to be talking about different people yeah. and what they did yeah. to live their long life. Yeah, yeah. So, it's exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah. And, and this is like a, this is like a, a condensed, I had so very many condensed. notes. I had 20 pages of notes just for this. <laughs> So I had to kind of condense it down and it was kind of like a speed. So listen to this over and over and think about what God truly has for your life. Yeah. All those desires on the inside of you, they were put there by Him. I said they That's were music, the whatever it may yeah, be. Go ahead, it, you know, being satisfied. Yeah. Things that you have in your heart. Yeah. I mean, I know I have things in my heart and yeah. I, you know, sometimes I think, well, yeah, I'm already this age, whatever, you know, yeah. but 
God said with long life, he will satisfy us. Yes. And if I look at it, at what the scriptures say, I've got, I'm only not even halfway there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so praise the Lord. Think it, about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a great subject. And I, 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 I have so much material on this. And we'll leave the scriptures yeah. um, in the description box below for you to look at and to meditate. We'll, we'll, next next time we'll, we'll go over people and, and what they did and yeah, how they lived their lives. And it's, great it's all biblical. Yeah. And so anyways, I think this would be I'm a good place to unhook. Next one. Me too. Hear those stories. It's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, gosh, I think I just went bang. It was good. <laughs> All right. So let's let's pick up here next week. Yeah. Want your homework this week is to meditate on these scriptures about long life and you'll see them in the description box below let's pray for everybody father thank god we just you, thank you for all of our people thank out there all of our father. guys all of god god your children yes. that are out there we just thank you that your promise these are your promises yes. i said these are your promises father god you promised us long life there's a reason for it you have a, you have a lot of people you want to touch and you want our lives to be full and just transparent and bring yes. more glory to you Oh, Father, it's going to be so good. We have a job to do on the earth, yes. and we give you glory Thank for you, strengthening Father. them, healing yes. them, prospering them, and just bringing joy into their life. That's in Jesus' right. name, amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, guys, we end every time we come together for the kingdom. I can hear still hear people thinking about this, like, <laughs> this just doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. The first time I heard it, it, it brought some joy to my heart, but I wanted to study it more, and I've studied hundreds of different people out. Well, and it's interesting that, you know, uh, this day and age, people are living, there's so yeah. many more people living longer. Yeah. And I think a lot of it has to do with the, uh, all the different science different. and medical field yeah. and all yeah. that that's helping people. Yeah. But, you know, there's so much more to it. So I'm excited to hear about next yeah, year. If one lives over a hundred, <clears throat> thousands of us live over a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> And I think that's so good. So on the count of three, one, two, three, for, for the, the kingdom. kingdom, God bless you. Be encouraged and live a long life with Jesus. Hallelujah.